Hello everyone, welcome to this quick demonstration of Candle, a customizable HDRI tool inside Houdini and Maya. When I open it, you can see that I already added a few HDRIs to the library. This gives you a very good overview over everything you have. It also, uh, you can also adjust the rows and columns to fit uh, more HDRIs in this window. And also you can, of course, simply resize the window and to get a really good overview over all HDRIs you have available. It also features a tag and search system. So if we just search for indoor studio, it will list all the indoor studios with these tags or maybe uh, daylight and you get all the HDRIs with the daylight. You can also search for file names, let's say forest. There is no tag called forest, but since the images uh, on the very bottom left, you can see those are called forest, so it will filter them out. And um, you can also search for text, for example, if we say urban, then it will uh, show you only the urban uh, files. So um, you can simply click one of those and it will create a dome light for you or an environment light. And um, when you have an environment light selected, you can click it and it will replace the texture. So let's say for this, we want to have a nature scene um, maybe that's great. So uh, as you can see, it's very easy to um, to shuffle through your library and uh, see what results you're getting. Um, so to add new HDRIs to your library, you can simply drag and drop them onto the tool. So I downloaded an HDRI from show, quick shout out to Polyheaven. They have like a, a great um, library of HDRIs in good quality. Um, you can simply drag and drop them onto the tool. This will pop up this set text window. It will uh, show you a preview and say it's indoor. Uh, yeah, so let's set it to indoor and add it to the library. And just like that, you should have it. Oh, maybe we should get rid of the filter nature. And now you have it into in your library and you can simply uh, press it and you will also have it available of course inside Maya. So um, this is called now workshop 4k. If you right click any of those you can also add them to favorite which will list them always on the very top of your library. So if you now shuffle through indoor you can see that it's always on the very top. You can rename so, for example, if you say rename and let's say call that um, interior. And now if we search interior, you can see that this will also work. And we can also edit text, we will, which will just pop up the set text window again. You can set different text uh, onto it uh, if you'd like. And also you can remove them from your library. Now the last thing I want to show you is that on the very bottom left you have this preferences window. You can also tell it to copy uh, those HDRIs you're using into your project folder. This is quite handy if you want to transfer projects. It's also always good to copy uh, those files into your project and have them available there. And also you can choose uh, which render engine you want to use. Let's say we want to use Mantra. And now if we click it, it will create an environment light instead. So let's quickly go to Maya and have a look at that library. And it's basically the same. And you can see that uh, this workshop interior is also added to your Maya library. And now it doesn't matter where you add um, images to your library, it will always uh, be there in other DCCs as well. Okay, so uh, that's about it. By the way, in Maya you will have different render engines available. It's Redshift and Arnold in here. And now if we click it, it will create an eye sky dome instead of a dome light. Uh, all right, so I hope uh, this is useful for some of you. Um, obviously this is the first version, so if you have uh, any feedback, is, are there any bugs, Please comment it below or write me an email. 
uh, I will try to fix it uh, as soon as I can. And yeah, have fun with it and see you in the next video.